Hello, it's Jackie here from Wiltshire Libraries and in this video I want to show you how you can access the Naxos Spoken Word Library which is a huge database of audiobooks, poetry and plays all available for free with your Wiltshire Library membership. So to start off we're going to go on to the Wiltshire Council website. The address is wiltshire.gov.uk. This will bring you to the main page and if we just scroll down through the services we're looking for one called Libraries which is just here. Little click on there and this takes you through to the Libraries main page. Come down to Online Resources, another little click and just scroll down now to Naxos Spoken Word Library. Click on there and it will take you through to the main Naxos page. Now to get into this you do need to enter what is called here your passcode. Now this is your Wiltshire Library membership card number. You'll find that on your library card just by the barcode. Just pop that in here and uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to pop mine in and I will see you on the other side. So once you are logged in with your library card, this is the home page that you will see. Um, and you can see from the top here that you're logged in as Wiltshire Libraries. If we look at the left hand menu, first of all, um, you can actually see there's quite a variety of different audios for you to choose from. Um, we've also got French titles, German titles, Portuguese and Spanish, which is brilliant if you're learning the language. And looking at the menu across the top, um, first of all in the top bar we've got a keyword search here so if you're looking for anything in particular you can pop anything in there and it will do a search for you. And in the menu below that, first of all we've got the home page which is where we are. You can also look at new releases or recent editions. You've also got some featured titles on the home page as well. Now if you like a particular reader or a particular actor uh, that speaks the books, then you can search for them there. Uh, you can search for authors, you can search by languages and by publishers as well. So there's lots of different ways for you to find something that is going to be worth listening to for you. So just moving on here, we've actually got an option called the mobile app. Now it makes sense to have a mobile app because it's much easier to listen to these uh, books while you're attached to your phone or um, a tablet rather than your laptop or desktop and just by clicking onto this page here you can actually get links into both the App Store and the Google Play Store so you can download the apps onto either your iPhone or iPad or your Android phone or Android tablet there. Just a little bit of information as well if you need any help doing that. And then at the far right here there is an option called create student member account. Now if you want to listen to any of these items on your app then you will need to create this and it just brings up a little pop-up box. You only need to do this one time only. It's your name and your email address and then just setting up a password. Once you've filled all of that in just press save and you need that information to be able to sign in to your app once it's downloaded. Okay, so I'll just close that one off. Right, so that is basically the website and how, how to get going. Um, what I want to show you now is a little bit more about the app. Okay, so this is the mobile app. Now, when you first go into this after downloading it, you will need to log in with the login details that you set up on the website. But after that, every time you go in, it will just take you through to uh, your pages. So we're just going to have a look at this. If you look right at the bottom, first of all, we've got um, a menu here. We've got discover, search, library, and the three vertical dots are others. This is the discover page. Um, and as you can see, this is uh, recently played items that I've recently listened to. Um, we've also got newly added and featured. It's really very much like the main um, web page. And then if we look at search, we can search on a keyword, author, reader title, basically the same categories that we can search on the web page. OK, and then library, this will be your library here. So we can see recently played items. Um, if you have a list there and you don't want them on your list anymore, all you need to do is press these three little dots to the right hand side and you can actually remove them from your recently played list. But we'll keep that one on for now. 
and we'll just go back here. We've got bookmarks. Um, I don't have any bookmarks here at the moment. Um, I'll show you in a minute how to set up your own bookmarks. And we'll just go back and also offline content. Again, I haven't got anything here, but I'll show you in a moment how to set that up. OK, and then just going back to the bottom of the screen, just on the right hand side, the others, we've got three vertical dots there. We just click on there. Got a whole host of different things here. You can contact Naxos if you need to. There's a nice frequently asked question list. There's terms of use and privacy policy if you're looking for any information. Now, just above the um, menu at the bottom, you can see a little scrolling screen as well. This is my last book that I was listening to um, and it will hold that there and basically it holds it in the notification area as well so you can go off and do all sorts of other things with your phone and actually listen to the book at the same time. Okay so let's have a look at um, a book or listen to a book so we've got Anne of Green Gables here um, this particular one is abridged and you can see that from the um, title that uh, that comes up at the top of the page so just underneath the picture here you've actually got three little dots and that means that there are more things for you to see so I'm just going to scroll down and I've got the book information there what category it is the author the reader when it was released and also I can scroll along as well and I get a synopsis of the story okay if I need to um, resume listening I can just press that button there and that will come up in a moment oh what I know about myself isn't really worth telling said Anne eagerly if you'll only let me tell you what I imagine so I'll just stop that again um, so that is that now if I click onto my little scrolling screen here I get a bigger uh, bigger screen to be able to control how I'm listening so you see right in the middle uh, I've got the play button and if about I myself on play, you'll think it ever so much more interesting then it becomes a pause button as well on either side of that I've got two circular arrows and that means I can actually shift up 10 seconds forward or shift back 10 seconds as well and then on either side of those I've got arrows pointing towards um, a vertical line and that just allows me to shift up a chapter or down a chapter and you'll see actually Mrs Spencer lived in a big You'll, you'll see underneath the picture here, it actually tells you which chapter you're listening to at that time. OK, so looking along these controls to the far right, there's a little icon and this is for a bookmark. So I'm just going to shift up a little bit. There we go. And then click my bookmark icon. And that's the time that um, the bookmark is set for. And if I click into this box, I can actually call it uh, something that means something to me bookmark one and we'll do a save and that's all saved and then on the far left of um, the little control screen there's a little downward arrow if I click onto here it means that I can actually download this book I'm going to continue that and download it and that means that I will have it on my phone here um, as part of the app and I'll be able to listen to that when I don't have internet connection which could be really useful. <laughs> OK, that's all finished. Right. So we're just going to go back to um, my library now. So if we look at bookmarks now, you'll be able to see that the bookmark that I set up. OK, um, it tells me where it is and what I called it. And if I don't want that bookmark anymore. You see there's three little dots to the right. I'm just going to click onto that and I can delete that bookmark or I can rename it and call it something else. OK, let's go back again, um, back to my library and then the offline content here. This is the one that I've downloaded so I can actually listen to that when I don't have Internet connection. And again, if I don't want that downloaded anymore, I just press on the little three dots and I can delete it from my offline content. OK, I'll get rid of that. There we go. So that is basically it. It's really, really useful. Um, please do download it. Have a play. If you have any questions, please come back to us. Um, but I hope you listen to many enjoyable books.